In today's video, we're going to look at using the upper, lower, and lin functions in Excel. These three functions can be found on the Excel 2019 exam, and you could be asked to carry out these functions on that exam. We're going to put our cursor in I5, and we're going to use the upper function to look at the names in this last name column, column B. If we look, our first name, Feltner, is all lowercase. And then the next one, Kaiser, is lowercase k and then uppercase everything else. And then we have the last three names. They're all spelled in proper case. With our cursor in I5, I'm going to click the Insert Function button. On the certification exam, while this function is not difficult to carry out, overall, when it comes to functions, I want to encourage you to use the Function Builder only because if you get tripped up, if you're not sure how to do something, the Function Builder can help guide you through the process to help you get the function correct. The function that we want to use here is called upper, so we'll type that in. The upper function converts a text string to all uppercase letters. We'll click OK. For this function, the only thing we have to do is select a cell that we want uppercase. For this, it's going to be B5. Notice it's going to spell Feltner in all caps. That's exactly what we want. We'll click OK. Because this is a relative reference, we'll go ahead and use the autofill or the drag fill to copy that formula down to the other employees and now each name is spelled in all capital letters. Let's go ahead and put our cursor in J5, and we're going to look at that same name column, but this time we're going to use the lower function, which is the opposite of the upper function. We'll click Insert Function. We'll type Lower. The lower function converts all letters in a text string to lowercase. We'll click OK. Our text is going to be B5. Notice it's going to spell Feltner in all lowercase, which it already was, so there's no change here. We'll click OK. But as I use the drag fill, notice what it does to the other names. Now all of the names are spelled in lowercase. Let's look at the lint function because it's a little bit different from the other two functions. We'll click Insert Function. We'll type in lint. Lint returns the number of characters in a text string. What we're going to see here is just a number. We'll click OK. We'll use B5 again for our text. And we'll click OK. And what this is telling us is that there's six characters found within the cell. If I click and drag this down, we can see it counts each one of the cells and how many spaces are there. If I double click in B5, put my cursor just before Feltner and hit space and then hit enter. Notice that it went ahead and it updated all three of the functions that we used. It put a space before the name in upper and lower, and then the lin count increased from six to seven. On the certification exam, hopefully you now feel confident to carry out these functions on the exam. And as you're working through your workbooks, you might be able to use one of these functions to help you carry out a task in your own personal work. Mm -hmm.